Welcome to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today we're going to do the Speedy Textured Dish Cloth. This has some nubblies on it. This is the nubbly stitch and we're going to be making this today. Great project for sitting and waiting on the bus, the doctor's office, anywhere that you have to sit and wait for somebody. Let's begin. To do today's project, you're going to need two balls of Lily Sugar and Cream Yarn. Now this is 100% cotton, so you're going to need that for your dishes. Don't ever use an acrylic or an animal fiber based yarn. Always use 100% uh, cotton. This here Lily Sugar and Cream is grown in the United States and then spun in the United States and then brought to Canada for dyeing and then put back. So it's completely a North American product and you'll find this in a retailer or on Yarnspirations.com. You'll need a five millimeter size H crochet hook in order to play. So in this pattern, we're going to be looking at this as being the nubbly stitch. So it's going to provide you a single crochet and then a treble and it gives you the nubblies that you see on the dishcloth. There are other ways of uh, spacing those out and they'll have other tutorials available on that in the future. But for now we're going to be working on this and let's get going. So let's begin. This is considered a beginner's project and there are other videos and slowly how to hold the yarn and make the slip knots and etc. So we're gonna start off with the slip knot first and then we're just gonna chain 44. Remember that the one on the hook never counts as one. So we just uh, chain so one, two, three and four and go all the way to 44 for me and meet me back here in just a moment. Once you've got your 44, you're gonna notice it's gonna be a generous sized dishcloth. That's why you're going to need two balls of little sugar and cream. So we're going to go second chain from the hook. So looking at the project, you're just, there's the first one and go to the second and get the back hump of that chain and I want you to just go in there and single crochet. Now move across your chain on the same back hump. So just move to the next one. Once you get the first one, the next one will just pop up and just go all the way across single crocheting into each of those right back to the very beginning. Please do that and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So I'm just coming into my last stitch of the chain and I'm just going to finish that off and so you've just single crocheted yourself all the way to the back to the beginning. So you're gonna turn your work and now we're going to begin the nubbly stitch. So the nubbly stitch is basically two stitches that kind of work together in order to create the nubblies that you see, that you will see in just a moment. So you're gonna chain up one to start and you're going to single crochet in the same one that that comes out of and then we're going to provide a nubbly in the next one. So to do the nubbly, it's just very simple. It's just the way that it's gonna shape. So you're gonna wrap the hook twice and it's all of this, if you know how to do a treble, that's all it is. So you're just gonna wrap twice, going into the next stitch, push in, pull back out. You have four loops on your hook, just yarning over, pulling it through two and two and two. So what you're going to do then is that the next stitch here will be um, just a single crochet and you will notice that it doesn't look very much different on this side but the other side there's a nubbly hanging out right so there you go. So what you're going to do is that you're going to then do another nubbly so you're gonna wrap the hook twice and then just treble into the next one and then the next one after that is a single crochet. Do you get that? That's all it is. So treble to create the nubbly and then the next one after that is single crochet and I want you to do that all the way down your row. So you'll see that nubblies are happening on the other side. So please do that and I'll see you at the end of this row. When you get close to the end, I just have two stitches left. I am doing the nubbly which is the treble and the very last stitch then will be a single crochet. So if you are got your stitch counts right, then the last one will be an automatic single crochet. So let's turn our work and look. So you can see all the texture is on this side. So the next row is always gonna be the same then. You're just gonna chain up one and all you're just going to do is work your way down the line and single crochet into each stitch. So just on the top of the trebles and into the singles, just one single crochet in each stitch going all the way back. So this is why I like this as a doctor's office or waiting for anybody because one line you kind of concentrate a bit and then the next line you just work your way back so you can just kind of get distracted within conversation and much more. So please do that all the way across. This is row number three. When you get all the way to the other side, you're just gonna single crochet into the final. Make sure that it does look right. Um, it's keeping on an even uh, side. And now you're gonna turn your work. So what you're going to do then 
is that the nubblies are gonna change a slight location. So all you're just going to do is that they're not gonna be in the same location as they were the last time. So this is row number four and we are going to complete this. So this just changes it so that it's not uniform all the way up the, the dishcloth. So you're just gonna chain up one and you're just going to single crochet in the first two. So one and two and then you're going to apply your treble to make the nubbly. So you just kind of shift it over one extra so that it'll appear in the middle of these two that are in behind. So the next one is single crochet and then treble for the next one for the nubbly and so on going all the way down the row. So please do that. I'll meet you at the end of this row to make sure that you're finishing right. So if you turn it around you see that it's not as close to the outside as it was. Therefore it's kind of changing location. So then coming up to the end of uh, row number four, the final two stitches will each be a single crochet and then you're done. So we're going to go to row number five and it says it's, it's a repeat of row number three. So guess what that means? You're looking at the project. So every time you can see the nubblies in front of you it's just chain up one and then it's just one single crochet in each. So now you understand how to do the pattern. So what, in order to begin the next layer you're going to then continue and go back and it says to repeat rows two through five. So two is again these nubblies how we started. So we single crochet in the first one and then so you chain one single crochet in the first and then you do your treble and single and so forth. You come back and you do your single crochet again and then going and then you'll come back and then this time you'll do two singles first and then a treble to create the nubblies that you see. So that's how you would do this. It's actually really quite straightforward in order to do it. It's a, again a beginner project and a great one for waiting. So if you would like to have a loop on the end, I don't really like loops on my dishcloth just as a personal preference because I don't have anything, I don't have anywhere to hang it. But if you would like one, all you just need to do and I'll show you how to fasten these yarn strands off too is that at the very corner on your very final is that you're just gonna chain 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and then just slip stitch it to where uh, you had started from. So just going in and in and then that's it. So all you can just do then is just trim your yarn because this is a dishcloth and you have used two balls by the time you get up there any kind of loose ends you're gonna wanna uh, put in with a, a tapestry needle. So grabbing a tapestry needle here off camera that I have is that I'm just gonna feed it through. Now if you feed it back and forth a total of three times into the project you will never have it fall out. So just drag it underneath some stitch work so it catches in. So just going in once. Okay, so once is not enough because it'll pop out because it's easy to put it in once and then just going in a slightly different path in the other direction for second time and then finally go in a third time. Three times is a charm. Your project can never stretch in three different directions at the same time. Therefore it should never fall out on you. Once you get it in you can just trim it right to the project and you'll never see that. So you'll wanna do that with your very beginning one as well and you would have one that changed midway through that you'll probably have a tie knot whatever but you could just use your tapestry needle to hide that in. So this is how you do the speedy texture dishcloth. A great project for waiting. Until next time it's Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd. It's with my friends over at yarnspiration.com. We'll see you.